Hello and welcome to the Excel in Business series. This lesson is on VLOOKUP. We're going to be exploring exact and approximate matches. We'll be doing that using uh, country and landmarks, that's uh, landmarks associated with country. Do enjoy. Right, now let's look at VLOOKUP. I consider VLOOKUP as one of the most important functions in Excel. Um, what does VLOOKUP do? VLOOKUP looks for function. It, it identifies a data, looks through a data pool, that's a table or array of uh, a table array, and pulls out the associated uh, data. Uh, what do I mean? I'm going to use an example to show you what I mean. Now imagine that there are countries and they have their associated landmarks. For example, Egypt's got the pyramid of uh, Giza. You're told to identify the landmark associated with USA. Now, VLOOKUP, if you're going to use a VLOOKUP formula, what it does is that it goes, it says USA, then it goes to this data, it's, it looks through the data, searches Egypt, Italy, UK, UK, USA finds USA then pulls the associated data landmark which is Statue of Liberty. Now there are two types of uh, there are two types of VLOOKUP. There's the exact match and there is the approximate match. What I have just described is what happened in with the approximate with the exact match. The exact match follows the logic of going through the first data, then the second one the third one all the way till the end until it finds the data it is searching for before it pulls out the result. But the approximate match doesn't work that way. It has its uses, but it's not something it's something that when you're using you have to be really careful. It has some rules you need to follow. Let's start by working with the exact match and see how it works. Equal the lookup. look at this value, that's the lookup value, this value, it says table array, the table array is this, data here, and says column index number, this is the first column, and this is the second column, so the column index number is the second one, because we're trying to look out for the landmark, then, range lookup, is it an approximate match or an exact match, in this instance we're using exact match, that's false, it looked through the data and identified the Statue of Liberty as the associated landmark. Right. An alternative to writing false is to write zero. That's exact match. Uh, for approximate match, it could either be true or one. Those are the two things you could write. You could say equal to false, I mean sorry, equal to true, or you could say equal to 1. Okay, now let's go back to using the exact match, that's 0 or false, and let, let me show you why I'm saying we should be careful when using the approximate match compared to when using the exact match. Now this is exact match as you can see 0 or false. If I am to move the data around quickly so assault, right? For USA it's still Statue of Liberty. Let's try this UK. It goes through the data, the first one, no, second one yes, and returns this London Eye. It doesn't bother to come all the way down here to return the data. Um, if I'm to use approximate match one, right, you can see that it's not really the data is kind of funny now, right? I mean, UK pyramid of Giza, where is that? UK, no, pyramid of Giza is for Egypt. Now, this is one of the big challenges with approximate match. Approximate match is mostly suitable for ranges. Uh, ranges are something like this. 
when using a proximate match, the lookup um, data, that the first column, needs to be in ascending order. That's very important. If it's not in ascending order, the data is going to be really messed up. So here we go. We've got the data arranged in ascending order: zero, test one, four to one, fifty to one, six to one, eight to one. And now this data, they're all corresponding to these ranges. That's the lower part of each range. 0 to 30 is represented by 0. 31 to 40 is represented by 31. 41 to 50 is represented by 41. And all the way to 81 to 100 are uh, represented by 81. Now, look at value. Uh, okay, let's do another. Let's do something here. We're going to put exact match. Approximate match. Right, start with zero equal V lookup. Look up this value within this. Of course there's no need to expand it. If you expand if you expand the range, if you expand it into this into this portion, your data is gonna be messed up. So um Second column. This first one is exact, so false. The next question: V look up the same value, the same list. Column index number two, but this time true or approximate match. Right, now for both of them, it's all right here. I mean, we've got zero uh, lookup value given F grade in both instances. Now let's try one. What happens? Oops, exact match. No, why? Because it's come in here, it's looked through all the data, it's not found one, so it's returned as not available. Or else for approximate match, it's gone through, it's looked at zero. Hmm, it said. Mm, no, it's not here, but there's something that's close to zero, but it's greater than zero. It goes all the way to 10 to 1, says no, it's not 10 to 1, and goes back to zero and returns F. Great. Now let's see, imagine you've got 30. 30 is pretty close to 10 to 1. You think it's going to approximate it to E, right? E grade. Let's see what happens. No, it doesn't. It also looks, it says 30, it says this is 0, no, it's not, 30, mm -hmm. 30 is less than 31, or it's not equal to 31, so it goes back to 0, then gives the uh, grade F, right, and if you notice over here, it says 0 to 30, right, so that's, this is the way you use approximate uh, matches for range lookups and especially in, in education the educational sector is really pretty good when you, you're only working with um, range ranges so this is the main difference between approximate and exact match remember for exact match you don't really need to you don't need to arrange in ascending order just do your equation uh, your formula it goes through looks for the data if it finds it returns the first data the first match starting from the top Right? Uh, it ignores any other data. It, it UK for London Eye, the first um, the first data for London. After that, uh, first, the first data for UK. After that, it does not return any other data for UK. But for approximate match, it will work best when it's arranged when the data is arranged in ascending order and mostly numerical values. You don't really need to use it for. I wouldn't advise you use it for text values. Right, thank you very much for this lesson. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye bye.